What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Got a little bit of something for y'all today that may be just a little bit of a learning experience. I think that we can all agree that this is not how you cape a deer. I've got him just about completely mounted. Still got to glue him up, staple him up. But this is missing. This whole piece of hide has been cut completely off the deer. They probably assumed, you know, if you want a deer's head, you cut it off at the neck and that's what they've done. So that's what we've got to work with. What I've done on the side of this deer, I've got a piece of scrap right here that I cut off of the side. And we're going to try to put this right along the back of this deer in a way that will cover all that up, at least the majority of it, and try to stitch that in and fix that in to where we can make a shoulder mount. Now, if this was y'all's customer, I know what y'all would probably want to say to them. <laughs> I know what I would like to say to them, but most people don't know any different. They don't know better. They don't know how to do it. A lot of these guys, this fellow right here is an older gentleman. He probably doesn't even have the internet. Uh, so he, he might not even know how to look up how to do it. But he killed this big old buck and he decided that he was going to cape the deer himself. And this is what he's got. So what we're going to do is, rather than tell him what we think, we're going to fix him the best that we can. We're going to give him back to him and we're going to explain to him what he did wrong and how to correct it next time. Hopefully it won't happen again. And we won't be out a really good cape because I mean the cape is actually a pretty good size cape, really pretty cape. And I just don't want to be without this deer for this rack if I can help it. So we're going to see if we can fix this thing. First thing that we've got to do is trim off some of this. I don't know why the fur has decided to do something crazy on the side right there, unless it was the way it was laying in the freezer. But it's just getting a little, little, little sideways on us. So I'm going to lay this down, take my scissors. I'm gonna trim off just a little strip of that. Just like that. It's going to tame all of that mess. Now, let's line this up and see what we've got to work with. This is getting on down back toward the belly of the deer. She's got a little bit more blonde hair. And I really don't want to have to use the blonde. What we may have to do is use this dark patch here work our way down a little bit darker fur like that. I'm going to cut this. Off. Get rid of all of our hair. All right, now we're going to cut this off about where we need to sew this back on here. And what I'm going to do cut this down about a half inch below where it needs to be. Now take it over here to the table and I'm going to trim the edge of this. I'm going to cut off maybe an inch or so to get back to the color that I want. What I'm going to do though is just cut right through the leather, kind of pull up on it and slice it down a little at a time, trying to keep from cutting through the fur too. Just using the tip of that scalpel.
main thing you're trying to do here is leave as much hair as possible to overlap when you try to join these two together you won't be able to see that seam all right let's see how we did here yeah you see all that hair you got left it's going to give you some overlap so when we put these two together you'll be able to overlap this seam right here and comb those two together okay so what we're going to do since we've got this patch we've got to work into this thing and it's going to be showing to the room obviously we're going to try to hide it the best we can so rather than making a whole bunch of stitching along this entire thing i'm just going to stitch it in a few places Kind of like tack welding it. That way the seams won't show up as much. We can lay it flat. We're going to hide paste it on there really good. But maybe put some weight on it or something and make sure that that doesn't move. Let it attach itself to that form. Wouldn't recommend doing that with a whole lot of different hide pastes. But I use Pro 1 and I promise you it will not move. got one spot I don't want them too tight all I want to do is hold that in place so that that glue can dry where the patch needs to be. All right, then right here we're gonna have separation. But I've got to do that to make sure this hair stays the same color. So what I'm gonna do is right here at this point, we're gonna put in another one. got all this mess worked out make sure that all your hair is tucked up and out of the way make sure all your tag ends are facing inside now we're going to fold this back across here Lay everything down where all those edges meet very closely and the hair is layered correctly across those seams. Make sure those seams go right together. Once we comb this, we'll have to get that pressed in right there. Got a little bit of glue in that 
Let's see, but I can brush that out once it dries. I'll be able to close that up with the fur once everything's dried out and I can comb it real good. going to need just a little bit of airbrushing clean it up and blend that blend those colors in right there but that's not horrible I think I can get that blended in add a little bit of dark right there and it should blend right in there really well try to get the rest of this guy glued up get him finished so that he can dry and maybe I can get him looking like a deer all right we all can see our patch it's dry, and now we're going to try to blend that in the best we can with the rest of this deer cape. This is just kind of a hit or miss guessing game right here, because there's really no telling what kind of colors I'm going to need to make this work. Or to get it close, it's not going to be perfect. I'm going to start out with a dark brown, mix with just a little bit of black. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to hit this bottom area right here with the dark color. Then I'm going to hit this up here with that dark color. It's really darker from here down and darker from here back. So I'm going to try to blend those two separately. All right, guys, well, that doesn't look half bad. Now I'm gonna go back with a little bit of a, kind of a gold color, and we're gonna to try to touch up this seam right here and hide a little bit where that fur comes together. All right, what I'm gonna do is get a little bit of this gold color. I'm gonna take this stiff bristle brush and just get a little bit right on the tips of those bristles. I'm just gonna tap it. like that. Before it dries, you take your finger and just tap it like that and blend it just a little bit. Now we're going to go back over it, do the same thing with the dark brown and the black. Just tap the bristles in there like that. And just tap it right back over you're trying to give that illusion of that like brennel looking color just like that hit it with your fingers a little bit and it'll help blend the fur back in too we'll go over it with a little bit of that sand color let's see what that looks like You can still see it just slightly, but I think we've just about got it there. Well, y'all, that's not perfect, but it's pretty darn close considering what we had to work with to begin with. So, in case you want to know how to fix half of a cake missing on a deer, that's one way to do it. Just make sure that you talk to your customer first and see what they have to say about it. Uh, nine times out of ten, they're going to tell me just to make what repairs I need to, but save their hide. So, you know, if you have to get a different cape, that's one thing. But, you know, most of the time, if the customer don't really mind the repairs, no matter how the repairs look, if they just want their cape back, no matter what, especially if they messed up the cape job, sometimes, you know, if they don't know what they're doing, it's understandable that they don't have enough cape or it's understandable that they made some, some holes or problems with it but a lot of times they'll still want their cape that came with their deer. 
And uh, so, you know, do what repairs that you can and hopefully they'll be happy with it. But anyway, guys, that's how I did it with this one. So just to give y'all an idea, we'll see y'all next time.